Hey everybody, Fixie here, back with Firewatch. It is day 78. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... Not me. So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. You're losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. Oh boy. I'm going down there now. Yes, I am. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah. I suppose you're right. She's gonna throw me under the bus. She's gonna throw me under the bus. That lady's gonna throw me under the bus. Alright. Oh man. It's smoky down here. Up here. Out here. Alright, so we're headed towards the cave. Which, where is that at? Cave, so we gotta go north. Um, never eat shredded wheat. So what are we going to find in the cave? I don't think I need this thing up, do I? I I'm still I'm still going with I think they're both going crazy. Hey you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? Duh. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. No problem. I have a feeling this is going to be the end of our friend Henry. Henry. It was nice knowing you. Okay. Jesus, this is a big cave. Wait, was that the door behind me that closed? Was that the door behind me that closed? Ooh. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Fantastic. I bet you it was her. She locked me in here. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, Henry! Oh, man. Ooh. It's freezing in here. I 
I don't know, guys. I'm pretty speechless. Is anybody down there? It's a shoe. Why is there a shoe down there? Who was wearing a red shoe? It was probably Brian Goodwin. He's probably like some kind of boogeyman now. Oh no, I gotta drop down. Point of no return, Henry. Another one? Strange. Oh boy. Oh boy. Power line. That's it? Why did she make a big deal out of the cave last time when it just leads outside? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, the... There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. What the hell? Where am I? And, and I'm not sure about this anchor thing he's talking about. What the hell's this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Contraway, rope, spool, crank, pulley, angle control, backpack retrieval plan. Oh, okay. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. My battery's about to die on my phone, and that's what I use to... ...time this stuff. There we go. Talking meteors! How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away? Avoid second person. It's too conversational for science. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator. Oh, that was such a depressing movie, actually. Uh, it's not real, but you were wrong. It's, it is real. It is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. But what it is? MSC, <laughs> MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors, upon their atmospheric entry, can create a dense path of ionized particles that ham, the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators up to 1,000 miles away? It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the Army who lives in Al Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We are going to try to talk to a at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that that, won't work, that that won't work, and we will have to wait for a meter shower so we can establish communication. Interesting... Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, he huh? failed school! Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? 
seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12 year old you've never even met? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, you made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Okay. God, there's so much here. GS? Or SG? GS? What does that stand for? What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Five degrees north. Neil Black has exposed the largest underground gambling racket in the Navy. Yeah. He'd hide out here to read comics. The Black Band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. It's weird. Where'd it go? He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> he also stole his dad's climbing equipment. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. He left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, it, Sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. Um, if... If you find this note, if you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me? Brian Goodwin in the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. The reward will be good. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva. Oh, there's the GS. Elf Armor 7. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Dear Mr. Zeckler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. 
They had fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. Sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Alright. So I dropped... Stuff is... Stuff seems to be falling through here, damn it. Alright, I guess those are going to come in handy eventually. A video game toy. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. So there was a paint can. There was another document here, but I, I don't know where it went. I don't think I have it on me. Um... No, I don't. So I guess that would be it. Just tearing his, his house apart. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. I just tore this kid's place up. Ooh. That was convenient. That was very convenient. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do that. Get back up there. Um, I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Yeah, really. A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Trust her. Gotta get me a new good shot. It's deep. So are we going straight back to the cave? Is that what's going on now? I'm dropped. Uh, Hawk's Rest. We haven't gone there, have we? Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. I don't want to go this way. I want to go up to Hawk's Rest. I'm sorry. I know that the cave is uh, is the goal, but I don't think I've actually been to Hawk's Rest. And I would like to see what the hell that is. Is it this way? Is it just... Uh, Maybe it's just the, the where the wire is and I just didn't pay attention. Oh shit. Shit. Report vandalism. Alright, Hawk's rest is to the right. Oh, is it the um is it the okay. So this is Hawk's Rest. And nothing's changed in here? Still cigarettes, nothing down here. Except darkness. 
Still, oh, I can open the stove. Oh, oh shit! <sighs> you little shit. I don't, I didn't, I don't remember seeing that option the first time I was here. Oh great, I can't see. Oh, I've got, I've got a light. I forgot about that. Can I tell her about the raccoon? I guess not. Alright, so Hawk's Rest uh, is just that. We've been here. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh, shit! That wasn't there before, was it? Refrain. I'm headed off to Old Shoshone, where the birds and the bees won't know me, where men of the war don't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no um shoulds don't need no looks or books i can't tell i'll ponder the ponderosas don't need no lady i'll marry the mariposas i this is awful writing i can't waste as in handwriting i can't waste the time any in getting there i'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer don't need no god. I'll spice up for the spruces. Spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal. I'll change my mood for the mooses. If you're wondering where's my ass been, he's been... Does that say he's been? It's been cavorting with the aspens. Don't need no grass. I'm... I'll get altered among the ashes? Don't need no man, I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm headed off to Old Shoshone where the elk and the owls won't know me, where there ain't no judges to whom I got a plea because I can be me in Old Shoshone. Right. We'll just keep that and save it for later. Alright, let's let's follow this, right? Oh! Uh, I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. Makes sense. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. What? They could be. Three eight seven one was one of the numbers on um on that page, wasn't it? Wouldn't that be hilarious if that whole thing was to track elk? All right, let's go south. It'd be hilarious if all that was. Oh damn it! Was the track elk? Um, south. And we thought they were tracking us. Here's my tower. I guess we're heading back to the cave. I am going the right way, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is isolation and paranoia. Is that all this is? I think that's all this is. Isolation and paranoia. Um, where's the cave at? Alright. So we're going to head in there, but we're going to do that next episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.